to you from the Immaculate Conception Chapel here on the second Sunday of Lent. In today's gospel, we hear about the transfiguration of Jesus, where Peter, James, and John go up the mountain with Jesus, and he's transfigured before them. There's a couple of things happening in this this gospel reading. The first is really the transfiguration and the fulfillment that Jesus is in giving us this light in the darkness. We see in this, we see in this reading that even in the midst of all of the darkness of life, in the, in the doldrums of life, especially in the doldrums that we've been experiencing with COVID and some of the effects that we've been having with that, hopefully we're starting to come out of that. I know during the season, uh, during this particular season, we are starting to come out of the doldrums of winter. We're starting to get more sun, we're starting to see more light. It's this hope that Jesus gives us by his transfiguration. He's helping to, helping to us to understand as the fulfillment of the law and the prophets that he can transfigure every aspect of our lives and lead us into the fullness of who we are, who we are meant to be, who we've been created to be. He brings that light into the darkness of our lives so that hopefully we can be transfigured as well. Because that's the other aspect of what's going on in the Gospels today is that Jesus shows us what we are anticipating in the Christian life. We are anticipating the fullness of the resurrection. And we don't fully understand the transfiguration until we go through the experience of the death and the resurrection. But it's through the light of the death and resurrection that we fully understand the transfiguration and the brightness and the transformation that happens in our lives through the Christian life. So I encourage you as Lent continues to allow Christ into the darkness of your life. Allow him to transfigure that. Allow him to Bring his light, his grace, and his peace into the darkness that you may experience in all aspects of your life. Allow him to transfigure that so that we can fully participate in the Easter that is to come. God bless you.